you're starting your own business and you're asking if you should bring your friend to be your partner. I'll tell you, it is a yes and a no, and I'll tell you why. Business is not an easy journey, especially when you're building it from nothing to something great. You're the one who has that vision, right? You have, you know where you want to go. And yes, you're, you have, you've been friends for quite a while, but you need to see if your friend is as passionate as you are with the business idea that you want to execute. That is one. You need to make sure your business partner is going to be part of this journey to be like, you know, working together because the, the scriptures say, how will two work together if they're not in agreement? So you need to make sure that this business partner or your friend shares the same goals, passion, and values that you have. If not, as you go along, you, you, there's going to be conflict as you go along. Another quality beside passion is your business partner should be one that is reliable. So reliability. That person needs to be reliable. You can, you ha, is someone that you can count on. Know that when things get hard, then that person will jump the ship. There's, a, there's a, a story of a business, or there's a business back home where this person started um, selling, uh, they're like wraps, and you fill them with anything from, you fill them, you can fill them with beef or vegetable or anything. You can fill it all with cheese and um, it, it is called patties. And, and so this owner of these parties started this business, you know, from humble beginnings. And he had a partner that brought funds, funds together that they started, you know, that to build the thing into something big that we know today. But over a period of time, the other partner traveled overseas and he was there for an extended period of time. So it was left to the, to the person who started this business to run everything. You know, it is very hard when you're starting a business because you have to deal with, you know, if you're renting, you have to deal with the landlord, you have to deal with bills, you have to deal with taxes, you have to deal with the employees, you have to, to deal with equipment, especially you have to use equipment to bake these, these parties. So it is hard work on one person and the other person was just waiting to get the check you know once they made profits they it could get the check time came that the initial owner weighed the options and said all right i may have to buy out this person because this person is pretty much overseas and just waiting a, a check or dividends you know to be paid to him and yet i'm the one doing the hard work this owner had to make a choice, the, the initial owner had to make a choice to borrow money. Actually, he went, he went to a, 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 a financial institution, borrowed money, money, and paid this person who was overseas, managing the business from overseas. And um, to cut the story short, that decision has made it easier for the initial owner to be able to franchise because now it is him who makes the decisions, not someone who is far away in another country uh, uh, making decisions. So all the power is, this person has, or the initial owner has all the power to make the decisions. And this business has expanded all their many franchises from just one humble beginning. So you need to be on the same page and also you need to have the, 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 the um, the person has to have skin in the game <laughs> because if someone is overseas, there's no way you're going to be managing the business from overseas. That is not possible. So it is going to be left to you to be running up and down to get supplies. You know, you'll be, you'll be carrying this weight. Not only have you invested your time, 
uh, you've invested, sorry, not only are you going to invest your hard earned money, but you're going to invest a lot of, of time and sweat. And it's someone probably along the way, you know, they're not invested. So you need to weigh, is this person, does that person have the skin in the game where they're not going to reach a time and, and they leave you, do all of this and just wait for a paycheck? You understand? And um, of course, another quality beside passion, beside being reliable, that person has to be compatible, you know. It is very important that you have the same, as I said, you have the same interests, you have the same hobbies. If not, you will not be on the same page. As I gave you, uh, 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 as I told you in the beginning, that how will two work together if they are not with the same mindset? You know, there's, 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 there's a story that I heard. Um, this farmer from Africa, he heard that, you know, these two villages uh, had amazing breed, uh, goat. They, they had uh, good breeds of goats. And uh, so he chose to go and, of course, he, 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 he had to work hard to get the funds to go and buy these in, two individual goats from different villages because they talked about you know, the qualities or the milk you know, that, 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 that you can get from these breeds. So he went, he bought a, a certain breed from one village, he bought another breed from another village because he knew once he brings these in his corral or in, his, in, in, in the other goats, he would get other good breeds. So one of those days, he took them out to graze, he put a, a rope on top of them, uh, no, not on top of them, sorry for that. He put a rope around their necks and he went to graze them. But because these two gods were so intelligent and they had a mind of, themse of, the, of, of, of themselves, like they had their own mind, not a mind of themselves, they had a mind of their, they had a mind of their own. When they were, they were taken to graze, there were two beautiful uh, grazing areas, one to the other side. So one of the, uh, I, I could call them, the, the breed A wanted to graze on the right hand side where it looks so pretty, but breed B also saw that the grass on the other side of the road was prettier. So they were pulling on the rope. And remember the rope, one rope is tying the neck of one of the other, the breed A and or got A and then the, the, the other side of the rope is around the neck of got B. So they started pulling, 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 you know, and the more they pull to go and eat or graze the grass on the other side because it looked good, the more they strangled themselves. They were pulling hard on themselves, you know, and not until the owner brought some kind of sense in them, right? That they say, you know what? Yes, we can eat the grass on the right first. And once we finish, we can go and eat the grass on the left. That is a, a story that shows that, yes, you're, you, you, you're bringing this person, this friend of yours, a, to, to, into this business. But does that person share your, your interests? Does that person share your hobbies, you could say? Or does that person um, have a vision or see where you want to take that company? So you need to make a choice. You know, you need to make a choice if, 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 you know, if that, and I'm just telling you these things because sometimes it's good, you know, because I've been in such a situation where you have to make a choice, you know, should I go into this business with, with a friend that is probably far away or won't have skin in the game and then I carry all this load on me? Or, you know, you have to make that choice. The choice is yours pretty much, right? Another thing is this, you know, bringing someone on board should bring certain things on the table. If, if your friend, let me say, if your friend has maybe contacts, 
knows people, then you know that uh, then you know that th there's some other value that this person is bringing to you because they have contacts, right? They have contacts whereby, you know, you know, is they're bringing friends or they're bringing a, a people they know. So you know, all of that adds value. What adds value to what you want to do? So that's an advantage if that person does have that. As you start this business, of course, you're going to be you have you're the brain behind this idea, but that person also needs to have some kind of creativity in you know you know suggest how you can you how you can attract and uh, uh, retain customers let me say you know that person has to have some kind of 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 um some kind of innovation how you, you know is going to add value just like steve jobs you know he not only was he a good ceo but also he was the brain behind many of the products, the Apple products, you know, the initial Apple products, and of course the products that we use today, they have, they, they are built on, on, on top of that a foundation that Chris, that Steve Jobs had, or that Steve Jobs a, a, a started. So you need to have someone also who can contribute a, in the way of innovation. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, you know. So you have to weigh the options of if this person have the qualities that you are trying to look for um, in, a, in a business partner, of course, the ones that I'm sharing with you. Another one is, you know, for example, like the two breeds, Goat A and Goat B, they also had minds of, you know, each one had the mind of itself. But that business partner, should also have an open mind when it comes to, to making certain, certain decisions. Because if that person is not open-minded, you're going to have that continuous conflict. Because for you, you see opportunities or where you can get a cheaper material, but your partner may see other things a certain way. If that person is not open-minded, you're going to have it difficult, right? When it comes to making decisions later on, if it is expanding, if it is uh, getting a new, 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 um, new space, or even adding other product line, uh, products, a product line, so it becomes challenging. It is ever a conflict. So you need to be very careful whom you're planning to bring on board. It may be a friend right now, but later on you may become even enemies. You know, sometimes it's better uh, to start businesses with those that are not your friends because you can hold them account, uh, accountable than starting businesses with your friends or family. Because as time goes by, people may become kind of have this entitlement. Um, and, and because they are family or friends, it can be difficult to part ways. It can be challenges to part ways. So you need to weigh uh, those different options, right? and see if it is worth starting your business with your friend because if not later on you may regret why you did so it is better to start as you are married it is better to start you and your wife you register the company as an llc you register it as a limited liability company of course a limited liability company has many advantages if anything goes wrong in the future a, let me say, go bankrupt, God forbid, right? Uh, banks or whoever can't come to take your, 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 your house, take over your house or anything like that because that is not part of the business, you know. Uh, so that's one of the advantages. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just speaking my mind, you know, different things like how if you decide to register it, it's better to register it as a limited liability company because you you're, 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 you're in the business, but you're kind of out of the business also at the same time because if anything ever happens, people don't come for your, you come after your assets, right? They just come after the assets of the business. That is another advantage. Anyways, if you're planning to start a business, I would rather advise you that you start with your wife, 
she's your partner for life, right? You know, it, 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 she knows you better, she can support you, you know, and that is the person that I would advise you to start your business. As you grow, you know, you, 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 she's there for you emotionally, she can support you financially, she can take up, you know, some of the weight that you have. That person is going to be always there than someone who will be probably far away or even when it is tough times, you can't even make, it is difficult to make tough decisions. And some, some of these people, when things are tough, right, they are not resilient. They are not, uh, they, they, they have thick, they don't have thick skin. So they, they can easily uh, uh, jump, jump off the, the, the ship and leave you like that. So you're the one to make the choice when it comes to, to, to bring your friend on board or not bring your friend on board because you know your friend better than anyone else. Um, and it is wise, better to keep your friendship than becoming enemies at one point. So that is my take, that is my thoughts, or those are my thoughts to you asking if you should, you should start your company with your friend.